This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Red versus blue, but not politics. It's Kentucky and Louisville Saturday. The cards already bowl eligible. The Cats, they need a win to lock up bowl eligibility. Lauren Cash is in Lexington with more. For the second straight year, the Kentucky Wildcats season comes down to the very last game in order to get bowl eligible. And once again, it's against their in-state rival, the Louisville Cardinals. Head coach Mark Stoop said in his weekly news conference, his team knows it's a must-win situation. And it's also a great opportunity to continue to build the program, seeing as they get almost an extra month of practice leading up to a possible bowl game. We're not afraid to mention it. We will. You know, it's important to... Um, you know, it's important for us uh, to, to get the sixth win. It's important for us to beat Louisville and, uh, and end the season on a, on a more positive note. So, um, you know, we, we will talk about it. But the motivation, it was asked earlier about a lot about last year and in the, uh, you know, the tempers and things like that. Motivate, that goes away very quickly. You know, it's the team that's uh, most prepared. You know, it's about execution. Um, our team will be motivated to play, and so will theirs. The Louisville Cardinals are already bowl eligible at six and five. The Cats sitting at five and six. And Coach Stoop says he wants to see Commonwealth Stadium packed out on Saturday to take full use of that home field advantage. Reporting in Lexington, Lauren Cash, WYMT Mountain Sports. All right, thank you, Lauren. Turkey Week and Governor's Cup Week. Louisville opens as a four point favorite over Kentucky. The Wildcats have not beat the Cardinals since 2010. Noon kickoff on the SEC Network this Saturday. Final installment of Chalk Talk tonight at 11. This week, former Kentucky quarterback Freddie Maggard talks about what this Kentucky-Louisville game will mean for the Big Blue Nation. Of course, Kentucky lost five in a row before beating Charlotte this past weekend, so Freddie thinks it shouldn't have come down to this uh, for the Cats to become bowl eligible. Well, first of all, it, it, this is a must-win for a bowl situation for Kentucky, and that's self-inflicted. As we talked about, should have beaten Auburn, should have beaten Vanderbilt, but it didn't. So now it's in a must-win situation against Louisville. It's arch rival. They are playing in Commonwealth Stadium. Now the EKU football program releases Dean Hood as the head football coach today. The Colonels finish the season six and five with no FCS playoff bid. Hood finishes out with a 55 and 38 record in eight seasons at EKU. His best season coming last year when he notched nine wins. EKU played three times in the FCS playoffs under Hood 2014, 2011 and 2008, but they lost each time in the first round. The Betsy Lane boys are up next in our round ball preview series. The Bobcats closed out the regular season on a 10 game winning streak last year, but then lost in the first round of the 58th district to Allen Central. Just one senior on this year's team for Gary Keithley. Betsy Lane went 21 and 8 overall last year, and the guys will be extremely small this year, but they think they'll overcome their weakness with their skill set. Well, it kind of kind of put some fire behind us. You know, we want to go out there and want to prove to everybody like we might be a young team, but we have a lot of leadership. And I think us going out there will prove other people wrong that we we can make a difference and we just by what we have a lot of talent. We'll probably end up starting uh, basically four guards and Zach Hamilton who is 6'5 and can really rebound. He's just it's a matter of doing it. So that's the biggest concern. I think we're going we're to cause uh, a lot of uh, matchup problems for teams, but you got to be able to rebound the ball. That's my biggest concern. I guess what sort of added pressure is that to know that you're kind of the guy down low? For this uh, I've been the guy down low since like my whole life, so I'm used to it. We're young, definitely young, you know, I'm the only senior and a uh, bunch of freshmen, but uh, we're also really fast, we can break well. I guess it's just uh, inexperience, really, but uh, we'll be all right. We're not big, that's the problem. We're uh, very small and rebounding may be a problem this year. Six Mountain High School football teams will play in the state semifinals this Friday night. Five UPI top play contenders to get to from the region finals. Lawrence County Belfry, that's where we start. Devin Varney over the shoulder interception. Give me that. Pirates are into the state semis. Second contender, our game of the week, Trayton Humphrey. Get off me, bro. 
Bell County, 43 yards for his 39th touchdown of the season, but Corbin beats Bell and will play Bell for next nominee, Pulaski County North Laurel opening kickoff. Tucker Sharp, he's got it. Everything looks okay. Everything's not okay. Fumble. Jackson Mobley says, ooh, looky here, I like he. Scooping in a score and top ranked Maroons go to Highlands for the state semis Friday. Fourth contender, Paintsville, Cash Daniel is passed, tipped by a Paris defender, but it's hauled in by Darren Morris. Tiger still undefeated. Take another look. Hashtag we not me will play Pikeville in our game of the week this week. Last contender, insert cell phone video and loud screams here. Yeah, Bryce Workman, Johnson Central. Uh, he throws it, squeezes that pass into Jordan Blanton's mitts. He gets the foot down. That's your ball game. Golden Eagles win 27-26 over Scott to vote on the UPAC top play contenders. Go to the sports tab on WIMT.com. Click top five plays. And as always, we'll count them down this week on Turkey Day at 6. Two more notes to get to real quick. Tyler Eulis is named the SEC Co-Player of the Week. And the Basketball Cats are now the number one team in the nation after North Carolina loss to Northern Iowa this past weekend. We'll be back after this.